Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Cody the Duke. Uh, real quick, want to uh, do a quick review on the Ruger Security 9. Um, in my opinion, very comparable to the Glock 19. Glock 19, you can find, you know, depending on what state you live in, new, um, maybe Gen, Gen 4 in the... If you're lucky, 400s, um, usually maybe around 500 bucks, sometimes mid, uh, mid 500s. I bought this for 319 uh, a few years back. I, I think now I'm seeing it around 379 or so. Um, so I've, I've used it a lot and really enjoy it. Uh, a couple differences, I guess or, or um, just reviewing it. So first off, it is uh, clear. Um, you will notice front slide serrations and back slide serrations. Also, it does have the Glock sights. Now, uh, it is one rare um, mix between striker fired which the glock is um it appears striker fired as you cannot see a hammer but there is a little hammer in there and as i uh, pull the trigger you can see it slam forward and then when we reset it you can see it back again uh right there hopefully you can all see that just let me make sure Everyone should be able to now see the hammer back. And then as we pull the trigger, hammer is now forward. Um, okay, so it's a little variation. All right, um, so not ambidextrous, uh, nothing on this side. Um, Ruger does... Um, so, okay, the, the barrel, I mean, the slide is steel, um, the barrel is, is sound, um, it does have a, um, as you can see, a place to put a, a light on it, uh, it, it does have a trigger safety, it does also have a, um, a standard safety, uh, as well, so, um, Oh, okay, so uh, just real quick, mag is, these are expensive, which would be my complaint, 15 plus one. Um, it is an aluminum metal, and so, um, all right, also another thing um, that I do like, and a couple things about these magazines, it does have a, a little stippling here at the bottom. Uh, and I'll show the mag release in a sec, which I'm also fond of. But this will fit in the Ruger PCC or PC carbine that's come out, um, which they've transitioned into a Ruger PC charger, um, which is a very cool 9mm carbine firearm, which are very popular right now. And um, it also will fit, um, if you buy one of these, it will come with a like a stop gap. So this will fit as an, use it as an extended mag for the new Ruger American. Um, as this is, um, like I can carry this in the winter, although, you know, it's along the Glock 19 size. So it is a, a little big to carry depending upon how you like to carry. Um, so <clears throat> I keep this in my truck as opposed to carrying it. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll see the carry video of what I carry. Uh, anyways, all right, so um, as I mentioned, this is empty. goes in really well. Now, the um, mag release button is only on, on this side, but one thing I do really like is that it is easy to reach from, from the point in which I have a grip. So from here, I can still hit the um hit the button which a lot a lot of firearms you have to cock your hand around to to release the firearm and you see how easy that popped out i mean 
I, I, I hate when something just pops out like that much and you have to grab the rest. So in, in you know, if I didn't need to change mags quickly, that thing's gone and I'm on to another one. So, all right, let's go through the uh, take back and reset on the trigger. Um, the trigger is a bit squishy, but uh, I do love the front front and slide, uh, back slide serrations. Um, so both are, are very easy to, to do. Um, and the slide has been worked in and I just cleaned this recently, but, um, all right. So now, uh, we'll cover the trigger. I'm not quite sure the pull on this. I wish I should have checked that before, but all right, we have a little squish. And then, all right, and then on the reset, there. So, not, you know, not as good um, as I would like. Let's just check the reset again. All right. And here we go on the reset again. All right, so I mean, not not ideal. If if I did have a complaint about this, it would be the trigger. Although if I'm comparing it to a Glock for two hundred dollars less, um, it's not like Glock's trigger is much different than this. Um, great hand stippling, great ergonomics in the hand. Um, you know, with mag in, uh, it's just very comfortable. So. Um, yeah, that that just a quick review. Ruger Security Nine. Uh, you know, uh, I know everyone wants to carry a Glock. <laughs> Ruger has a fantastic name. Um, I know every gun company has some clunkers, but um, you know, as far as as this firearm goes, the and the Ruger American. Um, both myself and uh, friends of mine who who have and have shot both nothing but positive reviews um for both so that uh oh and and uh, disassembly and reassembly are, are both very easy um but that is all cody the duke on the ruger security 9 would give this a value rating for quality to value or price well, uh, what I consider value, uh, price to quality, a uh, very high, um, probably an A rating. So, all right, if you are in the market for something and considering a Glock 19, I would highly suggest going to your range and firing this with the Glock 19, especially if you want a safety. Um, and I know when I bought my Glock 17, I was looking at it compared to an FN and uh, SIG, a, a variety of different things being the first time I was buying a firearm. And I would not have, this was not out then, although I would have likely preferred to save. Um, I bought the Glock because it was $100 cheaper than the FN. The FN had a safety, which is why I was considering it. I do love FN. Um, but again, all that matters is that you are comfortable with the firearm you have. So get some practice with it. Your range should let you try out uh, every firearm they have uh, before making a buying decision. So this is Cody the Duke signing off. Be safe. Have a great holiday season. And check out some of my other videos and like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.